Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time joining, my name's Andrea, and I'm the artist and entrepreneur behind Coco Michelle Illustrations. And welcome to this week's studio vlog. What do you, what you really know about me? Do you really see me? Do you really see me now? Well, good morning. This week's vlog is gonna be more like a day and a half in my life because it's Wednesday and I'm just not picking up the camera. Unfortunately, on Friday, I received some news about a loss of a member of my family, and it was very unexpected and sudden. Um, so I've been in my head and I gave myself permission to not vlog. I'm okay, it comes in waves, I'm processing. Um, it definitely has impacted me a lot and my mental space and my capacity to do things. Um, so I definitely just needed to have that break um, because it's, it's very it's very difficult um because i feel a lot of feelings and my family who's like a part of her nuclear family i am at a loss of words and i don't know what to say and i don't know what to do and i feel very helpless in the situation you know like as someone who was mourning the loss what do you say to someone who is mourning more than you do you know like my coping mechanism or my go-to is to like let people know that I understand or to try and relate to them in some way and it just is not appropriate in this situation and I'm trying to figure out like what are the things to say um and I think at a certain point especially as you get older you realize that you don't always have to fill the space with words um, being there, being available is sometimes just the answer. But this is not going to be a depressing vlog, but I didn't want to start off like, hey guys, in your face. And like, that's not the energy that I have right now. So, um, but I just wanted to go ahead and say that and thank you in advance for all the prayers and lovely wishes. I really do appreciate it. But in the midst of all that, we have been just guns ablazing on this Macy's order. We took a couple of days off. So now we're really like right up against the wire and this stuff has to go out today. Um, and then also on Friday, I didn't send out my orders. So now today's not Wednesday, it's Tuesday. There's still plenty of time to vlog. So I have some Etsy orders that are going on today. I'm only doing what's due through today because um, usually I like to kind of like get as much done as possible. But as you saw, there's so much going on in this office with the Macy stuff. Um, I just want to like get that stuff done. And I stayed up late and just like kind of power through most of it. I tried to cut stickers and our mats were completely shot. Like the sticker paper was not sticking to it at all. So we stopped by Michael's this morning and picked some up. I know I have a silhouette, so I get the silhouette mats. Um, I like the light tack. These are the best um, straight out the pack. The standard tack are good. You almost have to like get them a little linty so they don't snatch the sole out of your stickers and then like rip the backing off. So there's that. Um, so I'm gonna cut those stickers um, and get everything started. Today I really have been thinking about ways to automate and to create more systems because the business when I really thought about it like I have been operating like probably 80% the same since I started my shop and I was getting like a sale a month and now I'm over 8,000 sales and I'm still moving like I'm getting one a month and it's taxing it's taxing I'm tired I'm tired something wrong with this eye I can't put my contact in so if I'm blurry if I'm out of focus if I got something in my eye my nose like just just be nice mind your business okay one of the biggest projects I had when I was an assistant buyer was a what did I call it like a, a productivity analysis that's what it was at this point I worked for the macy's.com I went through every single page of my department pulled the sales pulled the clicks pulled every metric you could for each one put the picture of the item for each one and organized it in volume order and basically said how productive is this page i'm pretty sure this rule applies to most businesses but you will see that 20 percent of your items drive 80 percent of your business okay so the top 20 percent so if you have a hundred items 
20 of those items are doing 80% of your business. That's insane. So the remaining 80% are only doing 20% of your business. It's a very interesting phenomenon. So when I looked at my business, I realized I was funneling so much energy into the 80% that's only giving me 20% back. And that is not efficient. That is not profitable. That is not boss babe energy. So I really need to recalibrate. And one of the things that is essential for me to be able to get to the levels that I need to is the phrase edit to grow. Edit to grow is trimming the fat. It's similar to cutting off your split ends so your hair will grow longer and healthier. What's happening in my opinion is when you come onto my Etsy page, there are hundreds of items hundreds and hundreds of items and there doesn't need to be but what that does is when someone comes onto my page it creates an overwhelming experience you have to look around fish through a lot of different stuff that i know is a not as productive as it should be b is old and not really in my current drawing style and c some of it just ain't it you know so um i definitely think that i need to go through probably on a quarterly basis and just move things out i'm gonna put all the items that i'm gonna close out or you know are not gonna go forward in the assortment and i'm gonna put them all into one section on my etsy called last call and i'll put them at discounted prices and basically say like this is a weekend sale get it while you get it because it's gone and I'm gonna do that on a quarterly basis because that will refresh the assortment. It will allow people to come in and see the best stuff first without searching through stuff that I don't really feel represents Coco Michelle anymore. So that is the strategy. I've been talking for 12 minutes. So I'm gonna go ahead and get to work. Enjoy my chai, not dirty. Um, I've noticed I can drink matcha and I can drink chai and not have a complete breakdown. So those are my options, no more coffee. It is what it is. I'm feeling okay. Um, I look a lot more tired right now because this eye hurts. I put my contact in this morning and it was like, no. So I will see you in a minute. Damn, how you gonna keep it up? What you gonna do? Every time I switch it up I'm really uh, starting to regret not going ahead and getting that studio space. So as you guys can see, it's actually gotten worse. <laughs> it gets worse before it can get better, right, Hunky Punky? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got back from Home Depot. We ran out of our packing paper. Um, this is just so the hubby can make sure that everything is nice and secure and we can minimize risk so everything will get there safe and sound. Um, we found a FedEx that closes at 8, which is great because it's already 6.30. Um, we're basically done, though. But yeah, we are worn out. This has been oh, one box. like eight solid days yeah, of like pure you. chaos. A lot um, of work. And then we go straight into our Mother's Day, Father's Day order, which we have to figure a few logistics out before we really get that flushed out. But I'm happy with what we did. Even though it's very chaotic right now, this actually went very smoothly, I would say. This is perfect. See? I don't know. I have like a patch. Do you guys even see that? The mighty patch on my nose. So I felt like a bump was coming. I feel like you can't see it. And then watch when I'm editing it. It looks crazy. Okay, so we will see you guys probably tomorrow.
So it is now Thursday. Um, I am obviously all done up. I had to do a headshot. I'll show you how that went. I just took it on my iPhone. I texted Sheena. I was like, sis, you ever took a, a headshot by yourself before? And she was like, yes, I have. What's up? And I just gave her the tea. This is what I got. I got my iPhone. I got a tripod. What do I do? And she gave me all the tea and it came out really good. I'm happy with it. Um, I took a bajillion shots. Uh, I have no neck. I'm not sure if that's new or if I've never had a neck and I just realized it as a grown ass woman, but <laughs> it's cool. It's fine. Apparently you don't need a neck to be cute because <laughs> my face, my hair, she's sitting. But I didn't pick up the camera a lot this week. Um, as you know, it's been a little bit weird, but I'm definitely in higher spirits. Doing my face and my hair definitely made me feel a little more jazzed up. Um, but I've been doing a lot of thinking and a lot of journaling, and I wanted to share some of the things that I've been really thinking about lately. Um, based off of DMs that I get or conversations I've had with friends recently, I have become someone you can go to when you need perspective. Someone you can go to who's going to tell you your options. And I want to kind of work that into my brand because it brings me so much joy to have these conversations. Even when the conversations are tough, even if it involves someone's struggle or um, someone's unhappiness, I like being able to be the mirror who can give you that outside perspective that may shine a light on something that you never really thought about previously. So one of the things that I talked about with my friend recently is um, quitting. There is so much negative connotation around quitting, right? We are taught from a very young age that we should stick it out. And having the ability to stick something out and push through uh, something that you're not happy with or something that you're struggling with is a, is a badge of honor in our society. You are considered to be more motivated, more hardworking if you don't quit. And I just think that whole ideology is garbage. You should quit. If something is no longer serving you, if something is no longer benefiting you, you should quit. It doesn't say anything about you. It doesn't mean you're lazy. It doesn't mean you're incompetent. It doesn't mean that you couldn't push through it if you didn't want to. Because all of us have that ability to push through when things are just not ideal. But we shouldn't live our lives doing something for the sake of doing it. If you don't quit doing things that don't serve you, how are you going to have time to do the things that do serve you? If your time is clogged up with the things that you know you don't want to do. It's really crazy how much we have to unlearn and to let go of in order for us to step into our true selves. Now, what I'm not saying is to quit your job today and jeopardize your family being put out on the street. What I'm saying is you have the option to leave. Do it strategically. Don't just quit out of the blue with no plan. But I'm saying you don't have to stick anything out that you don't want to. You can make a plan, you can quit and you can move on. That's exactly what I've done. That's what all of these successful people have done. They identified a situation that no longer served them. They made a plan, they executed the plan and were able to move past that. But they had to make a commitment to quit. I'm a quitter, straight up. If I am doing something that does not serve me, I can't give it my all because it's a waste of my time. The first thing I'm gonna do is what are my options? What about this is bothering me? What about this is no longer serving me? And what are my options to change that? So often we get sucked into this mindset of, well, I've already been doing this for X amount of years. So what, what does that have to do with anything? Because you've been doing it for 10 years, that means you have to do it for 10 more years? Or because you've done it for 10 years, you feel like, well, now I just wasted 10 years of my life if I just stop now. It's like, or you can stop now and not waste 10 more years of your life. Whatever the purpose was for you to be where you are, learn from that. I don't believe that there's any experience that we are put into that is a complete waste of time. So that mentality needs to change. If you spent 10 years in a job that you didn't want to be in, that's okay. There was something there for you that you had to learn along the way but now you have made a conscious decision that it no longer serves you. You do not have to continue being loyal to something that no longer serves you for the sake of keeping your streak 
<laughs> well, another anniversary. No, don't do that. Literally don't do that. I'm begging you. So if you're in a situation and you know you don't want to be in that situation, but you are afraid to quit for whatever reason, you don't want to be judged by your parents or your loved ones, you have been there for a really long time, you don't want to feel like it was a waste, whatever the thing is that's keeping you where you are, let it go. Let it go. I promise you, you're going to feel so much better if you just let that go and quit. Be a quitter, make a plan, get the hell out so that pretty much wraps up this week's vlog i know it was a bit touch and go on this vlog but i'm still gonna post it because i still film there's content um i've been consistent and i enjoy getting content to you guys on a weekly basis so even though this one is a little more bite-sized i think you guys will enjoy it and there was still plenty of value in there if i recall if not i'll see you next week Bye. It took me 17 days to shake you Rearrange my mind, erase you Erase you I waited All of my pride on the table I was willing and able will, 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 Willing and able All of my patience has run dry Cause you've been wasting all my precious time how do you look me in the eye when I already told you? Well, you come and you go, but baby, this love ain't free. So the records were broke, and we're still stuck on repeat. Yeah. Well, you come and you go, but baby, this love ain't free. So the records were broke, but we're stuck on repeat. Yeah. in and stop you just can't help that i want you if you're leaving better not spin around it ricochet back around it don't don't play me just come find me all of my patience has run dry cause you've been wasting all my precious time how do you look me in the eye Well, you come and you go, but baby, this love ain't free So the record's been broke and we're still stuck on repeat, yeah Well, you come and you go, but baby, this love ain't free So the record's been broke, but we're still on repeat We're still on rip, we're still on rip.